Here's a question for you. Suppose you have two cameras, A and B, as shown, which are the same in every way, in the sense that they have the same film to, dis to lens distance, the same focal length, except that the, the only difference between them is they have a different diameter of the lenses. The distance between the very top and the bottom of the lens in these two pictures is different. B has a larger diameter lens. If they're used to photograph a distant object, which camera produces a bigger image of the object? Is it camera A, camera B, or are they both the same? Remember that the magnification, the thing that's going to dictate which produces a bigger image, depends on the distance P and the distance I, and that's it. It turns out, since they have the same focal length, then, and they're placed at the same distance from the film, then these two cameras produce the same magnification. How do I see that? Well, the only thing that affects magnification is bringing the object P closer to the focal length F. Remember that 1 over P plus 1 over I equals 1 over F, or 1 over I equals 1 over F minus P, 1 over P. Or we can manipulate that to read I equals P F over P minus F. And magnification is always minus I over P, or minus F over P minus F. That means no matter what you want to say about these, these images, they're going to be magnified by an amount that's dictated by the denominator there, P minus F, how close you've brought P equal to the focal length. If these two things have, are photographing the same object, and therefore P is, the, and they have the same focal length, P minus F will be the same. Well, what about this difference between these two things, the fact that they have a different diameter lens? What does that actually do? Does it matter that you made the lenses smaller in one of the cases? Well, let's try to imagine that. Let's imagine we put a couple of stops so that we clamp down on the edges of this lens. What's that going to do? Well, it's going to stop certain rays of light from making it to our film. So that's going to just X out those very outer ones right there. Boom, they're gone because they won't make it to the film. What's that doing? Well, the cameras actually are built with this kind of feature to change the diameter of the lens all the time. It's called an f-stop. What it does is it reduces the amount of light that gets to the, to the film. On cameras, it's sometimes also called the iris, besides being called an f-stop, and its purpose is just to help you when there's too much light getting to the film, or you can open it back up again if there's too little light getting to the film. On really sunny days, a high light level can flood your camera, and you want that f-stop closed down to be rather small. But that's all it does. It controls the light level. Not doesn't control the focal length. It doesn't control the magnification. All it does is it restricts the flow of light into your film. Your eye has something very much like this. Your eye has an iris, which can be either wide open or contracted in size. The pupil, that black center of your eye, is where light gets through to the back, or the retina. When it's dark outside, or you're in a dimly lit room, your iris opens wide to let in more light. We then say your eye is dilated. But when it's very bright outside, or you look at a light, bright light like a light bulb, your iris reduces in size to reduce the light reaching the retina. The lens diameter, then, affects nothing except for the amount of light reaching your film. You can buy a lens with a huge diameter, and it doesn't necessarily allow you to take any bigger or more magnified pictures. What it does is it allows you to collect more light. That can be useful, because the more light you get, the faster the exposure you can take, and that's useful when you're trying to do very high-speed things, like to picture or photograph uh, sports events. But the diameter of the lens itself only affects uh, the amount of light reaching your film.